after that, man, after that, I just looked at hip hop completely differently because I was a book reader. My mom's an English teacher and a social studies teacher. So I read a lot of novels growing up. And so I was really into like reading and reading and, and um, I didn't think of hip hop as literature yet. And with those three albums, because even the chronic, like, yeah, we'll talk about nothing but a G thing and Dre Day, but that was post Rodney King riots. You need to listen to songs like the day the ends, the ends took over a little ghetto boy. And like, even on that album, there's so much strife and so much anger and so much rage that, um, I had an understanding of, of, of looking, I really understood a little bit more what was going on on the side of the country because of that. Wow. And then with Biggie, you know, I didn't really know New York cats, you know? And so the way Biggie was able to take me to Brooklyn, um, was very, very amazing. And like I said, the humor was just so big with him. It was so crazy how he was able to make stuff that you should not laugh at funny. Like, you know, so I don't give a F if you're pregnant, give me the baby rings and the number one mom pendant. That's not funny. But I laughed the first time I heard that. Like, there's nothing funny about, you know, a a pregnant woman um, being um, the victim of an armed robbery. But who who does that? Who who can put that level, you know, the number one mom pendant? That's that's writing. That's an incredible that's incredible um, uh, writesmanship. So. That, 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 that just made me look at hip-hop completely different with those three albums.